And that pal of mine uh, attended the union meeting, and uh, I have three highlights that I wanted to bring up about the last union meeting. Number one, Fred want Fred's proposal was for all of us union members to have to pay 10% of medical costs. And that's not 10% of the premium, that's 10% of the total cost. That means if you go to the hospital, the bill's $100,000 and you're gonna have to pay 10,000. I mean, that's across the board, 10%. So that <laughs> that's not gonna happen, or, or they're gonna have to end up getting some new, some new uh, drivers because that's not going to happen. So nice try on that, Fred. And I, I hear that uh, the rail supervisors, I mean, not the rail supervisors, but all the the white shirts, think they should have higher retirements because they get higher pay. <laughs> That's laughable. Uh, finally, of course, the usual whining and moaning from the full-time operators about the mini-run operators taking their work see it's all about them me 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 it's all about me we don't care what happens to everybody else as long as we get what we want they want their overtime we want our overtime the hell with everybody else you know that's that's the attitude that this country seems to have now as long as I have what I need who cares about anybody else and and the full-timers here have that same attitude with uh, their own brothers and sister mini runners many of whom have been here longer than they have been here okay the company should have had a company-wide seniority from the very start and allowed employees to move around within the categories and keep their seniority but no they had to have all this weird you know mini run the full time then try to go back to mini run and you lose this you lose that to go back yeah it's just crazy you know so now they've set up this this system which is uh, locks these people in Anyway, the usual uh, full-timers whining about mini-runners. That's just pathetic, you know.